test, test one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one.
ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States and Mrs. Reagan.
Prime Minister, this concludes the honors. To the White House today. In 1949, your grandfather, Prime Minister Nehru, though we may know the history and something of the culture of our respective countries, what is Mr. Your visit marks a continuation of that process of mutual discovery. Today, we celebrate the depth and democratic ideals serve as a bridge between us. Our cultural differences enrich our relationship, our mutual cherished by our peoples. Mr. Prime Minister, on this, your own voyage of discovery, you will find a deep well of affection and respect who personally suffered. You will also discover that the United States remains steadfastly dedicated to India's unity and that we firmly the pivotal role your country plays in South Asia. We're in seeking stability, security, and cooperation in the region. Mr. Prime Minister, our peoples have much to gain from one another. Enthusiasm for the growing potential of our commercial and economic relations is evident here. Expanding cultural, scientific, and educational disagreement. Yet these are opportunities to prove our mutual goodwill by discussing our differences forthrightly. We do so with confidence because we're convinced this understanding gives us reason for optimism about the future of our relations. Your stay with us will also provide us a better understanding of you, Mr. Our inspiring. We're eager to learn more of your vision for India's future. I've been impressed with your efforts to invigorate India's economy, the in suffering. New and more successful models for development focus on incentives rather than controls, on production rather than redistribution. And here in the United States, an optimism. Just as current technology overcame past problems, new technologies will provide solutions to America's knowledge of India's heritage and achievements. You will inaugurate that festival, now dedicated to your mother's memory, during your visit here this week. This culture and history. I look forward to our talks, for I'm sure that, as with our predecessors, we too will be enriched between our countries and to advance the cause of peace in your region and in the world. Mr. Prime Minister, on behalf of all Americans, welcome to the United States. Sonia and I are honored and delighted to be here. I bring you to Mrs. Reagan and to the warm-hearted people of the United States, the Indian people's greetings and friendship. Millions of Indian eyes are focused on this spot today, leaping over oceans and continents. Three years ago, welcoming Indira Gandhi, my predecessor, my mother, on this very stretch of green, you remarked so truly that our two people, with all their differences, have much in common. Yes. There are differences, but rising above them are the beliefs we share in common. In the supremacy of freedom, in the necessity of equality, in the sovereignty of the people's will. As I fl flew in here, I saw in passing the memorial to Thomas Jefferson, who proclaimed in simple and stirring words that all men are created equal and independent. Behind me, rage tell us that a world divided against itself cannot endure. It should be the task of own world of ours. 
the inevitability of coexistence must propel us towards the imperative. If, if my visit strengthens that tradition, it will have given further sub substance to what is opens here in Washington. Several other cities will soon join in it. The festival portrays India's aspirations, understand what we are, why we are so, and how the Indian civilization has endured for 5,000 years. Imagination and constructiveness when you and our late Prime Minister decided we should try to develop a better grasp of each other of our dialogue. Good morning.